All right, we're back, and now we're checking out the DS feature, another new one from RX6. Tell me what this one's about, Dan. Well, it's, um, it's DSing with um, an isotope twist to it. Um, if we open the DS module here, which is a snake shaped as an S, uh, we have a classic DSer, which you would expect a normal DSing. And then they have their intelligent um, spectral DSing. And this is where it gets interesting, a little bit more powerful. We have a little bit more control than a normal classic DSer. Um, so if we just listen to this vocal take, uh, you'll get the idea. The sunrise sheds light on anticipantes. Right? So yeah. classic, you know, I mean, it happens a lot putting a condenser really close to somebody. It's really picking up all the exaggerated um, S frequencies and shh. Um, so um, normally we go in with the normal de and it just compresses um, those frequencies or the whole signal. But with the spectral de we work on the spectrum. So um, we have um, the spectral shaping we can play with um, that will flatten it more towards the high frequencies or low frequencies. We have uh, also a spectral uh, tilt where we can make the whole DSing a little darker or a little brighter. Uh, really, it's best to use your ears. It's really intuitive. And of what's really important, of course, is to set the cutoff frequency. So um, if we're looking at the S energy here, right, we can see this is a big S. Uh, we can come in with our other tools here, our time uh, selector, and we can isolate that, right? So that's, that's where our S range is. And you can see the bottom of the S range here is just above 4K, which is a normal area for, for a, a male singer, uh, and it extends upwards. So we're going to set our, our cutoff frequency somewhere around there, and we just this is ballpark to start with, and then we fine-tune with our ears. Uh, what's great is we can output only the S's and listen to only the S's. So if I zoom back out, enter to go to the beginning, and let's give it a listen now, um, just listening to the S's with the preview. So we want to make sure here, uh, as you could hear, we hear pretty much all the S's, but we had a little bit of the sh. sh if I go back to preview. All right, so maybe we need to go a little bit higher. Um, but you can see it's pretty intuitive. And by listening to only the S's, we make sure that we don't have uh, voice, that we're removing the voice, right? Uh, so we take off the output S's only. We could put it uh, into the compare function, or we can just, you know, for confident, just command A to select everything, and we can process this. And watch all the high frequency energy dim. Mm. Uh, so let's listen to uh, our initial state. The sunrise sheds light. And after the deessing. The sunrise sheds light on anticipantine. Much smoother. Now, if we felt that we went too smooth on it, um, we can use the, the spectral shaping here to, to help out sometimes, or even uh, the slower um, attack speed uh, may help to not dull out the, the dialogue uh, or the singing, I should say, so much. And of course, yeah, it works for dialogue as well. So by combining the, the attack of the de and then skewing the, the, the frequency shift more to the lower or higher range, flattening it out a bit more, uh, we can really get something really natural in context with the music. Interesting. And you touched on uh, just uh, briefly the spectral tilt. Yeah. So um, if I'm not mistaken, um, the brown, pink, white uh, states, those would, are those in relation to the frequencies? Well, it's like brown noise, pink, well, we all know, I think we all know pink noise and white noise, right? We know that white noise is more of a broadband equal power, so it's brighter to our ears. And pink noise progressively rolls off the high frequencies every octave, so uh, it's a little rounder. And then brown is even darker, so we can skew the, the, the way that the spectral shaping, uh, it's kind of, kind of geeky, but it's kind of like dithering. Um, when we change sample rates too, when they're applying the noise uh, to dithering, it's kind of this, to me it feels like it, it's inspired by the dithering. So uh, let's, let's see what it looks like. So if we go back to the initial state here, and let's do, um, we won't touch our settings, we'll keep it at the same where we were, and we'll just bring it to brown, and we'll hit it uh, compare. So it's gonna do a brown spectrum tilt, so it should be darker. And then we'll do a white, 
based on the white noise spectral tilt, which should give us a brighter result. And uh, we'll do something, um, I guess, kind of in the middle of pink and white here. Because I felt it over dulled it a bit when we, when we DS just flat here. But I I'm, I'm, have a feeling somewhere around here should, uh, should work out. So let's, let's try that now. So we, we have um, three different settings in the compare. And it could be, you can get confusing already. I'm like, which, which one was what, right? So if we click on settings one, we can go view settings. And then it shows you, the, oh, okay, settings one was our brown. Awesome. Settings two, if I go view settings, oh, that's our white. And settings three, if I go uh, view settings, we're here somewhere in between. So let's listen to the, uh, the brown. The sunrise sheds light on anticipantize. Darker. And this one, if we forget, view settings, that's our white. The sunrise sheds light on anticipantize. A little livelier, I feel, not as kind of uh, held back. Uh, it's like we're over dulling it with the brown. And now somewhere in between, if we go back to view settings here, we're, so we're between pink and white. And let's preview that. The sunrise sheds light on anticipantize. So a lot of this is, is subtle. It's about feeling. Sometimes it doesn't jump out at you. It's so obvious. But uh, really in context of the music, what's surrounding this voice is really important as well. Uh, sometimes you do need a darker. Sometimes it needs to compete with a snare or very bright guitars or something like that. So sometimes we need a brighter one or maybe it needs to be more intimate and held back. So maybe brown would work better. And it, definitely you need to do this in context. But uh, to give you an idea, let's head back to the original and preview that. The sunrise sheds light on anticipantize. Completely distracting, right? You, you can't enjoy that, that, that vocal performance. So I'm thinking setting three for me. Preview. The sunrise sheds light on anticipantize. And we enjoy that. We want this. Uh, we like what we've where we where we've brought it. So just process. So give you an idea. Fantastic. So Isotope, yeah, definitely impresses yeah. us with this one. <laughs> it's uh, it's really a different twist uh, on it, right? We can go much further with the spectral. Uh, and again, it's just using your ears and, and seeing how it fits into context. Uh, it could get a little geek, geeky with the brown and white and all that, but just use your ears and, and move around uh, in context. Hmm. Super. Awesome. Well, we're, we're still on a roll. We got a couple more left, so stay tuned.